Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Roy Peacock BMW podcast. I'm here with Neil and Mark. This time has found time to join us as well. Uh, last time we were speaking about the new G310s that had arrived in the showroom. And since then, we've had another two new arrivals that we're really excited to talk to you about. The first one, I think, is one of the most underrated bikes in the BMW range, the S1000R. Uh, and it's in a really busy segment at the moment. Um, you've got the Ducati Street Fighter, the uh, Prilia Tuono, the um, new Triumph Street Triple RS, um, all in this super naked category. And uh, one of the things that strikes me about the S1000RR is that uh, BMW have decided not to increase the power from the 165 horsepower when a lot of the other bikes seem to be going with uh, big increases in power. The Street RS is 180 and the obviously the Street Fighter is over 200. So what do you think about that, guys? Why do you think they've kept the power at 165? Um, I think really to make it um, more usable to the rider themselves, you know, um, with regards to keeping it, as I said, at that brake horsepower, um, it, it's still going to obviously provide a hell of a lot of torque all the way through the range. Um, but it's so that, as I said, people can essentially be out on the bike um, and not feel that there's something a little bit too far out of their, you know, capabilities in terms of riding it. Um, the nice side of it, of course, as an add-on to that, is the fact that obviously they brought all the features across that we saw a couple of years ago when they brought out the RR into it. Um, with regards to you know, the, 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 the TFT connectivity, um, nice new styling around it. Um, but as I say, back to your, back to your point, it's just really, as I said, one of those that, uh, yeah, okay, they haven't, ju they haven't jumped up to that. There's still plenty, plenty of power within there. For, yeah, uh, yeah. For, for to go you're in a situation where more that you can't use is still more that you can't use. So yeah, yeah. having another 40 brake horsepower you can't use anyway. So it's a, a, a road bike as well. Yeah, it's a road bike and they've done it so the power levels. I won't say because even the 165 brake horsepower is more than most people will ever use, but they've made it so the delivery is so nice and easy and usable that you can get more of that 165 brake than people are getting of their 200 brake horsepower alternatives. Yeah. Because the, the delivery is too vicious or too intimidating. So people aren't, you know, there's an odd few that will, but they generally they won't ever get near it. Yeah. Um, and I'm lucky enough. So far, that's the only one to have ridden it, um, and it's just a cracking thing. It's just a typical BM. They make the bike as a road bike. Yeah, it's so friendly and easy to use, but it's great. It feels, I've got to say, the new one a little bit more focused, a bit sportier in the riding position. Than the previous. That's yeah, what I was going to ask you. You're a bit lower barred, so your weight's obviously. I, I noticed quite a bit because I suffer with neck problems, so I noticed a bit definitely lower positioned. Yeah. I don't know if the pegs are a bit high, but you're definitely a sportier riding position on it. But the rest of it is just a pussycat to live with if you want to, or if you want to be a total idiot, it will do that as well. Um, incredible. And as um, Neil was saying, all the connect connectivity on it now, so you can load your um, phone into it, so you can get a basic sat nav, stream your music, take your phone calls, um, and all the side of it. It's just cutting edge in terms of bikes it is it's just they thought about as a road bike and what do people want you know? yeah and they're just, just I mean, I, good at doing that i love the color scheme on the one that we've got in the showroom as well it's mm. a bit unusual for for a, for a bmw and it looks great and i, I mean I, th I thought myself you know when all, all these super nakeds are coming out with over 200 horsepower it's a naked bike you know you, know, you can rip your head off with that sort it, of it, it, so. it is you know the capabilities of that bike and i've not been there but you've got to be in the 160 mile an hour, possibly plus speed, I don't want to be hanging on to a bike at that speed without a fairing because you're not going to. It's just going to peel your grip off the back and you're going to be off the bloody thing. It's not of enjoyable not, anymore. None of our customers will ever do over 70, will they? No, so, absolutely yeah. not. 70 tops. 70 tops. And, yeah, and on the road, running in mid nicely. And, yeah. 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 Uh, you mentioned the colour as well. Um, Hockenheim Silver is the one that we've got at the moment in the showroom. Um, we've seen Racing Red on lots of other other bikes within the range but it'd be nice to see when that comes through as well yeah um but at the top of the list for me is when we get to see the, the one in the, in the motorsport colors yeah the m sport yeah, yeah. because they've um, now added on to it from the rr version where you can have your carbon wheels on it so they've again allowed you to put more onto what was there already to make it even lighter and nimbler 
than it already is. Yeah. And they're just you know thinking, okay, how do we make this more usable to more people? And yeah. the handling side of it is with a super naked, the handling and flickability is with big flat bars, that's perfect. So right. the carbon wheels are going to improve that further again. So it's just, you know, build your own mad retro, which is what, yeah. you know, what they're doing. And it's a super looking bike. So, and, and we've got one available for, for demonstration. Yeah, right. yeah, nice to finally get it through, available for demonstrations from now. So. And, pr and price is right as well. And price yeah. is, you know, everyone says, oh, PMs are really expensive. No, they're not. If you compare it to anything else of a comparable nature, then it's as good as anything. And the backup and warranty you get is better than most. So, oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, they're, they're a fantastic yeah. bit of kit. And you were talking about, you know, when the M Sport colours come through, because the other bike that we've had through, uh, it's really exciting, um, the new um, MRR, which is the first M bike that the um, Motorrad Network have produced. And it's a stunning looking bike, a really aspirational machine. So. I think you won the quiz, didn't you, Neil? On I the, did, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't get top top of yeah, yeah. I was there or, there or thereabouts. Uh, no, it's fantastic. We've been, we've been waiting for, for a while for it to come through now. So yes, the M1000 R. It's the you know the homologation bike from BMW that they've made. So, you know, to fall in line with the rules of World Super Bikes and British Super Bikes that yeah. we raced out there. Uh, and it's lovely to me. Uh, I look at it and I think it's, it's, it's too, too pretty. It's one of those, yeah. you know, we've had the bike come through, it's got the, the additional carbon pack on it as well. Wow. So, you know, every, everything's been thrown at it, it looks fantastic. Um, it's made some really, you know, nice, some, some obvious, some not so obvious changes from the, you know, the S1000RR, um, most notably um, down to, you know, all the, they've got obviously lighter engine parts. Um, with regards to, you know, even down to repositioning of the, the rear brake, this is obviously in line with the racing side of it, the repositioning yeah. the, you know, the rear brake caliper that you know, that's now sits underneath uh, on the disc as opposed to at the back. And it was addressing some of the issues that they had in the, on the racing side of it and yeah. you know, made the changes. Um, but as I said, yeah, and then, you know, M, M parts throughout. So as I yeah. said, nice and high performance stuff. Um, and again, you've then got that ability to add certain bits to it should you want to, yeah. Yeah. to really customize it yourself. Yeah. It is, it's, it's a closing the gap in, in, and you've got to say in the last few years, road bike development has been insane. So that, okay, you take it to another level to people actually racing it to world superbike level. It narrows that gap between that and MotoGP bikes now, because they're now mm. putting aero on road bikes. You know, this is yeah. a road bike in essence, and it's got wings it's got on wings, it that yeah. give it 16.7 yeah. kilograms of downforce. Um, and it's just, geez, where do we go next? And it's just amazing the things yeah. they're incorporating onto a road bike that are going to be usable on a road what bike. What strikes me about this bike, though, is you've got all those race features on it. I know what you're going to say. It's got heat and grips. <laughs> yeah. It's got heat and grips. Cruise yeah. control. It's got cruise control. Yeah, it, 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 it is. It, 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 it's, it's, your, it's your track ride. You could ride to the track. Yeah. And it'll get you, know, it's, get you it's, warm it's, and comfortable. Yeah. On, right? It's absolutely synonymous with BMW. Everything they make isn't just focused on being a race bike or being a motocross or whatever it's this is going to be spend most of its time being used by joe blogs on the road yeah so how do we make living with that bike on the road as easy as possible so you know standard spec heated grips cruise control you've got all the tft connectivity of the other so it's it's you know just Madness when you think it's a race bike. It's yeah, not along to, with you. to have all these your seven riding modes. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Pit lane limiter. Right. All yeah. the, the <laughs> full race spec of it. You know, you've got adjustable swing arm, fully adjustable suspension in it now. Uh, there's ride height adjustment on the rear shock. It's all top spec kit they've chucked at it. Um, and uh, you know, when you look at what other people have done for what is basically a homologation special, they've bought even BMW in the past. They were sixty five grand. This is thirty five, yeah. so it's a mere snip. Um, it's, it's, yeah, but it's, it's thirty-five with with the, with the, with the carbon, carbon pack. Pack. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's with everything yeah. you can chuck out. That and, is and I know it's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but this is a special machine. You know, it's, yeah. it is. But, it's, but, it, but it's, it's also special when you read more into it. Yeah, because I think we may get some people come in and kind of say, you know, compare it to maybe an X thousand R or M Sport, yeah. and say they look very similar, the same, what is it? Well, it, at that stage, it's a case if they haven't already read up on it, we can then tell them, yeah. said, you know, some of the yeah. actual differences, it, and it, that would, that what that essentially warrants the higher Most price the higher point price, and, the, yeah. and the changes that have been made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's, well, because I think it's standard, it's just under 31 grand, isn't it, without the optional carbon and, and billet packs on it, which give you all the HP levers, etc. cetera. Um, so you say, okay, between that and a normal um, R, uh, RR, M3, 
in sport is 10 grand. So where does 10 grand come from? We yeah. just look at the suspension. There's 10 grand, yeah. Yeah. let alone all the other bits, the stuff that, come, that comes with the bike. So, yeah. you know, you've got to say, it, yes, it is a big lump of money, but you are getting an awful lot of motorbike for your money. Uh, and, and that's the yeah. end of the story, really. And again, we do have one in the showroom now. We're talking yeah. about it has arrived. So yeah, if you're interested, once have a look, please. Come yeah, it looks fantastic. Express your interest. Yeah, and I think you can probably tell we're quite excited about this bike. Um, you know, just just talking about it, it looks fantastic in the showroom. Um, so come on down and ha have a look at it. I mean, obviously we've still got restrictions, um, so you'll be expected to wear face masks and it's probably best to make an appointment because we have to restrict numbers in the showroom. So if you want to talk to the guys on uh, 0115 um, go on to our website, pidcock.com. Don't forget to sign up to our newsletter. Um, you can uh, follow us on our YouTube site. You can see this video over and over again. It's marvellous. Please subscribe. Please yeah. subscribe, yeah. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook page as well. So uh, we're all in the 21st century here at Peacock. Oh, you scared, right? You scared? I'm, I'm sort of frightening <laughs> me. I'm just coming out the 19th. So. <laughs> yeah. um, one thing I will say, if you're coming to look at the MRR, please bring your own tissues because it's a pain wiping all the drool off the floor. <laughs> it is. <laughs> So we'll look forward to talking to you again soon. Um, as I say, we, I mean, we've been a bit busy, so there's been a bit of a bigger gap between this podcast and the last one than we would have wanted. But we've got some specials coming up as well. You know, we're looking at doing some of these for uh, specific subjects. And if you've got any uh, suggestions, keep them clean. You know, uh, just comment on the uh, on the podcast. We look forward to talking to you again soon. Cheers.